Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it's only for me. They will be okay. Uh, I, I try, you know, to, to, to follow the vision of, uh, of my son, Christophe, who was an MD and uh, has a vision of, uh, after the death of my father, to, to have the, the foundation more active in the fields, bringing what we know, which is mainly uh, diagnostic. All my life I've been in, uh, in uh, preventive medicine, 25 years a CEO of the vaccine company, both human and veterinary, today Sanofi Pasteur and Merial. Chris Boringer today, and uh, 50 years in diagnostic, and the last 10 years of my long life, uh, mainly active at the foundation level. We have today set up a, a chain of, of uh, laboratory, which, uh, according to the willingness of Christophe, have the name of his uh, brother, Rodolphe, and we have Rodolphe Laboratory today in uh, Cambodia, in Laos, in Myanmar, in Bangladesh, we are also in Africa, in Mali and Madagascar. We are in Lebanon. We are uh, today in Tunisia uh, with Pasteur. We are in Brazil at the border of Bolivia at Rio Branco. And we have for a long time uh, been established in Haiti at Port-au-Prince with Professor Papp for the rescue. And we learned a lot about global health approach after the earthquake of uh, 2011. So, to in, uh, in Port-au-Prince. <coughs> the vision we have is to be uh, open to the rest of the world. As we are French, we try to reinforce our, our collaboration with the uh, Institut Pasteur d'Outre-mer. And the last meeting we had, Christian, we were very fruitful with your president, Mr. Vigou, and uh, we had, we could see the, the Sherpa of uh, our president Macron about this vision that we share both. Uh, the experience we have, and I saw what you, you say, you know, about the risk today we face with urbanization, uh, climate change, and everything like that. You could add also something which I've been involved uh, in this year. I, I visited in, in May the refugees camp in Syria, and I was two weeks ago in uh, Bangladesh at the camp of Rohingya, 950,000 people in the same camp. And uh, I can tell you it's also a, a new uh, medium of culture for virus and bacteria. And you know, it, it's uh, absolutely frightening to, to see uh, how the, the world is moving. And the fact of being active in this country, I say we, come, we came at the beginning with our vision of biologist and uh, diagnostic for infectious disease. But we cannot c c uh, keep a clo uh, high close, you know, when you go in the streets. And, and the main problem I see at my age is really the uh, les enfants des rues, the children of the street. We choose them in Madagascar, in Bamako, e everywhere I go, we find them in the street, you know, because girls are pregnant at the age of 13, 14, unable to raise uh, the children, and you have this kind of uh, dogs without neck, you know, get around, around the world. So, the, the world is uh, not so easy and uh, it's complex. It's dis con discontinuity is permanent and it's very rough. So we have to, uh, to keep our approach, which is a long-term approach, which is a worldwide approach, and to keep a partnership spirit. And the last visit I had to, uh, 10 days ago in, in, uh, in China, I had a very good discussion with uh, my old friend, Professor Shenzhou, as you know, a close friend of Claude Christian. And uh, we, he is now uh, vice president of the Chinese uh, parliament, and uh, he is in charge of the Yunnan. And, and Yunnan is a border. And we discussed very c uh, clearly that you cannot protect Yunnan if you, don't pro you, are no you are not in Vietnam, not in Laos, not in Cambodia, not in Myanmar, not even in Bangladesh. So we have with the uh, Institut Pasteur Shanghai, with Institut Pasteur Paris, ourselves, and uh, the Chinese Academy of Science, we prepare a approach of Grand Delta, Great Delta of Mekong, because we cannot protect uh, uh, our country if we are not completely open to the rest of the world. And we had the same approach when I was in, in Tehran, uh, in Iran, uh, unfortunately, for political reasons, I could not build a lab at the border of Afghanistan and Pakistan because they have the same problem of migration, and migration are always coming with new virus or new risk. So, <laughs> so it's... <laughs> It's an interesting world, but uh, extremely changing. So I am very happy to be partner of the Global Virus Network for many reasons, because it's really in our philosophy of action to, to work you know, with an uh, open mind and uh, on a worldwide approach. It's also, as I said at the beginning, 
a good occasion to, to find uh, my old friends who have been working a long time <laughs> together as Bob, Christian, and Hab. So I uh, would like to wish you a very nice couple of days, three days in, uh, in Les Pensières. I don't know if the world will be. This house is very special for me because it was uh, my mother when she was young, came with my grandfather rowing for Mansi, and she was in law with his house that my parents could buy in the 50s, <laughs> and uh, which is now after many family drama. You know, we, dis we gave it to the foundation, and I think it's a nice place to welcome you, and I try to keep it at a top level. <laughs> and uh, my dogs are very uh, noisy, but very nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so don't be anxious. Have a nice time. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure to uh, to welcome you here as well. Um, I'm actually I'm the uh, I'm the director of a new One Health Center in in Hanover, Germany. You may remember that I've been working in the Netherlands for most of my life. Yeah, actually as the head of virology in Erasmus, that I've handed over now to my successor there. Now we establish a completely new One Health Institute where a lot of initiatives are are actually being taken. So my reason for being here at this moment is to welcome you to this fantastic meeting, but also I think it's good to say that uh, together with Hubert Enns and with all the other people here, from uh, both from the Fondation but also from GVN, I think we have brought together quite a number of uh, very top-class experts to actually exchange our visions here to see what we, what we can do together, yeah, really in a, in a One Health spirit. So. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually both. I, I wear two caps basically. So I'm on the scientific advisory board of the, the Fondation on the one hand, but I also, I'm in the GVN. I al also run a GVN center, and I, I think there's a lot of synergies possible. Yeah. So basically, the work we are do we are doing with both organizations quite interesting. Bringing those networks together would be of uh, of, of extreme would be extremely functional, and I think I would encourage you, well, of course, the lectures and everything you're hearing here is going to be enormously interesting, but I think the networking here, and the environment is, is splendid to do that, the networking is, is I think, is even, even more important here. So we are looking in the future to a close collaboration between the two organizations. I think there is an added value of bringing these two together and see what we can do there, in addition to the, the science that we, the, that we are all doing as, uh, as scientific directors and scientists of uh, respective institutes. So I really wish you a, a, a fantastic meeting here. And I hope that, uh, that it will contribute, will really contribute to uh, combating, let's say, emerging diseases in the One Health spirit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Alain. It's great to be here. It's a fantastic place and uh, uh, fantastic spirit. The, the movie on the Foundation is very touching and, and it's a great, uh, a great introduction. Thank you to all the team at the Foundation Pan des Pensières, uh, Benedict Pensier and all the, all the team. Uh, thank you very much to Ab and uh, to Hubert and also to Valentina Pico, to Cindy Grasso, who have been working with Natalia Mercer and also with uh, uh, Marcus Gallo, Dave Wilkins on, this, uh, on the program of this meeting, which uh, as Ab has explained, really, we hope, will contribute to uh, create a number of uh, networking activities and a number of, uh, of, of partnerships. So I will just present a few slides on the Global Virus Network. Uh, it has been really for me a, a great pleasure and an honor uh, to be the president of the Global Virus Network since uh, now about one year. And thank you very much to Bob Gallo for this opportunity and also to the board of uh, GVN and in particular to Matthew Evans, who is here and who is so dedicated to the, uh, to the GVN. So um, again, I just want to show a few slides and also very briefly uh, some uh, action that we have been taking uh, since uh, one year. So first, we have recognized a number of centers and we really want to welcome them uh, officially this uh, 
uh, now. So in uh, Leuven, the Rega Institute with uh, Dr. Joan Netz. Uh, yeah. In the West Indies University, Dr. Joshua Azinger. In uh, Lusaka, Dr. Aaron Mouene. Obviously, I don't have time to describe uh, everything. Dr. Pontiano Calibou at Antebe with the UV Arai. Uh, Dr. Lin Fan Wang, who could not be there, but at the uh, University of Singapore. Uh, Dr. Giorgio Osario uh, in Colombia, Medellin, and together with Wisconsin. And finally, and not least, Dr. Kratotville and Dr. Jan Delman at the University of Nebraska. So welcome to all of them. They are now part of the, of the community of the Global Virus Network. And uh, it's interesting to see also that, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot one, Dr. Uh, Awandare, Dr. Kwai from Ghana, also very important, obviously. Now the Fondation Merieux, I have only obviously one slide, the, the movie is fantastic. But just to illustrate exactly what Ab and also Alain have emphasized, it provides a fantastic network and skills. And the partnership with Fondation Merieux uh, is obviously a great, uh, great opportunity. And in fact, if you look at this map, and if you start with the GVN centers and what we call GVN affiliates, and then you combine with the Fondation Merieux and the international network of Pasteur Institute, you can see that we have a fantastic opportunity to cover all over the world. And it's just about partnerships. It's not a question of power. It's just a question of working together. And uh, this is why we are here today. What we have introduced officially over the past year is something which actually existed already, as often when you want to initiate something, but that we have make made more official is that to create a center, say, for example, in Medellin, uh, in Nigeria, in Zambia, in Singapore, to twin these centers with another center immediately so as to provide the entry point with sufficient interactions, human resources, sharing infrastructure. And this is something that we want uh, to develop in the future. So what is doing the Global Virus Network? It's about science. It's about research. It's about high-level science. It's about interdisciplinary science. And this is not only a fashionable wording. It's, you see, we are talking about different viruses. This is very interdisciplinary, not only emerging viruses, and also the connection between viruses and cancer and, uh, and neuroscience and pulmonary disease and so on. It's uh, independent. Uh, it provides a reactive expertise, this is a key word, a task force on specific viruses, and very important. And obviously, you have many institutions working on this, but we have never enough, and we will have never enough education and training. It's about interaction and collaboration, not again the fashionable wordings and the goodwill, but the reality. It's about, and this is a topic of importance for the global virus network, and we had an, uh, a very good leadership committee this morning on this. It's combining a global strategy with also regional strategy and initiative. You cannot think research the same in Africa, in South Amer America, South Asia, uh, US, uh, obviously Europe, and so on. And it's about a global and one health approach. And we know again that this is extremely important. So. I, we have worked a lot and we need to work more on the positioning of the Global Virus Network to make it clear. We are really at the interface between surveillance. We are not a surveillance network. We are at the interface between surveillance, identification of the problem. There is a new pathogen or there is a new epidemics from a known pathogens and implementations of the solutions. This is about science again and uh, it's, uh, and we need this link based on very high-level expertise, high-level skills. Now, we all recognize that you have many institutions, many networks which are working. And this is something which is key to, to explain that we are collaborating. We are not in a competition by any mean uh, with these other institutions. And, uh, and obviously, what we can provide is what I have shown and always also with the fact that we can provide research 
for on-site capacities and education. Okay, so I will be brief, but b what we have been, uh, many things have been initiated before, but what we have been doing and what we want to uh, obviously pursue, positioning official partnership with WHO. We are part of the GOARM network. Yesterday we were in Geneva to discuss about the anticipation preparedness. Coalition for epidemic uh, preparedness inno innovation. We are now a partner for them. Nuclear threat initiative bio, uh, about biosecurity. We are part of it. Now task force, there have been a very interesting task force on Zika coordinated by Scott Weaver. We are preparing, we are initiating a task force on anticipation and preparedness. Obviously, I don't have time to talk about this. Um, Giuseppe Polito, who is one of the two chairs with Elodie Gedin is here. We want to distribute to all of you a questionnaire on this uh, to have your input. We will discuss this tomorrow at lunch where we will have a meeting for the center's directors. This will be obviously not by ourselves, but together. It's about network of networks, in fact, um, to work on this. Grant application, we have initiated a number of grant application, in particular, thanks also to Leslie Reperent, who is here to help us write the grant, prepare, and so on. We will go on. We must apply for grants, but not for only for ourselves, as part of a general effort of partnership and education and training. So training is so important. A number of things have been initiated over the past uh, few years in Baltimore, very successful. The point I want to take is this. Only in five years, uh, an alumni group has been created with a total of 72 scientists from 29 countries. This is remarkable with relatively limited resources. But now we want to, uh, to think bigger and this the Fondation Merieux has, for example, uh, also a unique positioning that Alain has shown regarding education and training. This is our responsibility. The next generation of virologists. And this is what, why Bob actually and Billy Hall created the, uh, the, uh, the DVN at the beginning, or, or one of the reasons. We need, and I had been working on this at the Institut Pasteur, and we really want to go on. It's not only about fellowship, it's about career track. It's really following up individuals during their whole career tracks and providing solutions to them. And this in s f quite frequently in partnerships with uh, industrial partners. Uh, and uh, we have already, but we want to expand partnership with industrial. Finally, it's about advocacy and public communication. And last year, I was not in Melbourne actually in the previous meeting, but <coughs> the conversation on, on HTLV1 led to a number of advocacy which have been very efficient. So to summarize, we have unique asset. It's really about science, excellence, independence, rapid response, global network. Global means something. It means that nobody will be left apart. When you have a global network, it means that all the centers can be part of the different actions. And this is why we are creating regional global virus network and to really have a more bottom-up approach, to really get from our colleagues in Africa, in Southeast Asia, in South America, and so on, what is needed in their region, and really to bring this up in a global perspective uh, to meet with uh, these difficulties. And obviously, we are focusing on viruses, on all viruses. So when we think of our asset, and I really want this meeting, this meeting is about science, and we are there to discuss science. But we really want to get your thoughts on how can we be useful. For example, so it's again science interdisciplinary. Just crossing the views regarding different viruses is extraordinary. But can we work on the shared access to infrastructures, the biobanking, we have the Nagoya, uh, which is arriving and which will be complicated. What is biobanking nowadays? Uh, On-site versus distributed biobanking and so on, data sharing and biosecurity, which is a, a, a very important point. So finally, we have these marvelous meetings and I'm sure that we will have a great meeting. And again, I'm very grateful to, to everybody for uh, organizing this. And the next one, we will uh, have a, 
an announcement on this during the meeting, but the next one will be in Barcelona in uh, next uh, June. Uh, so finally, I just want to say, you see, sometimes, and I want to be very open on this, some people are afraid of the GVN, and sometimes I tell them that we are very nimble. Maybe we are maybe a little bit too nimble, because you see, we have a, we have a small team, but a very dedicated team. And I want to thank Dave Wilkins, who is uh, our CFO, and unfortunately he couldn't come today, but he's very uh, dedicated also to, to the scientific part and to the meeting itself. Natalia Mercer, who is here, who is now really in charge with many of the program and the education. Marcus Gallo, who, who is also here in charge of the centers, uh, identification, uh, follow-up. Kevin Kisforth, uh, who joined recently at, as, uh, for uh, helping and the administrative part and who is very dedicated also. Jessica, who just arrived for development, and Nora for the uh, communication, who unfortunately could not come, uh, but who has also been very efficient. So having said that, I cannot help showing the two slides I like to slice at the beginning. This is why we are here. And this is also why we recognize that we have to work together because we have a lot to do uh, before what we think and what we hope and what is uh, our reality. And it comes back, it goes back to what Alain and Hab has said. So thank you very much and I wish you also an extraordinary meeting. Thank you very much. <laughs> and now we will move to the first session. Uh, ah, no, 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 Alain, don't, don't move. Venez, venez, oui, venez. <laughs> Venez, venez. Moi Oui. Pas seul, avec vos chiens Avec vos chiens, bien sûr. Bien sûr. <laughs> so, now we want, on behalf of uh, all my colleagues of the Global Virus Network, uh, and really to, I would say, not only to recognize your support to this meeting, but for to all what you have done, what you are doing, what you have shown, and it's really with trust, friendship, that we want to offer. Merci this. infiniment. Ça touche beaucoup, Christian. Thank you. <coughs> Merci beaucoup. Thank you. <coughs> no, but this is because we didn't have anything for them. That's what about. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>